it's official. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by me, your host, your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now stay tuned for today's episode of the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast. podcast. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast, y'all. It's a new week. Um, I'm excited. This week's topic, guys, is about being selfless, okay? So we're going to unpack this this week because this is something that I know many people struggle with, especially when we try to balance um, taking care of ourselves and being selfish and giving us me time, and then at the same time, being selfless in a balanced way, the way the Lord wants us to, so that we can do the things that he's called us to do in our lives, specifically for him and for those he's called us to. This is an interesting dance because most of us usually try to figure out along the way, you know, or, or no, wait, let me, I stand corrected on that. Let me say that differently. I think many of us find out usually by mistake or through offending someone or inaction that we are selfish. You know, um, I have had situations where I've had to just be like, my goodness, you know, you can give so much to a person and, and, and you really think that they genuinely have your back, but then you wake up one day and realize they are selfish and they use you. And I, and I will tell you this y'all like over time and just after prayer and just asking God for me to see things with like without my lens and try to see it with his lens, I can honestly say in a couple of those situations, maybe one or two, I can see where the person is just selfish because they're just used to being by themselves. And them using me was not something they did intentionally. I can, I am woman enough to say that. But I can also say that I have gotten duped and played before in the past because those two things were actually happening. So the problem would be, how do I find a way to still be a selfless person the way God wants me to be and not get, not become bitter and be selfish and act stingy with people too. That is hard. Now, I don't know about nobody else. I'm not about to fake the phone. That's not easy for me. Oh God, that is not easy for me. I have no desire to act like it is because it's not, not for me. You know, so that's why I love this book, y'all. Pep Talk Prayers on Faith. It drops on August 11, 2020, y'all. I'm so happy about this. I'm so proud of what God has done in my life. I'm so happy about that. And not from a prideful standpoint, but just I know how God has had mercy on me. I know how he has dealt with me and it means everything to me. So y'all, this week is inspired by um, five topics, one for each day of the week. You know how we do. We did them last week. And this week's topics include today. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about deflecting and we're going to focus on that. But tomorrow it's wrong spirit or not. Nah. Like, do you have the right spirit or you don't have the right, uh, the right spirit? And, and I get, we break that down. Um, y'all Wednesday is cool. We're talking about removing the scales from our eyes and how, um, when you are selfless, And you realize that, well, excuse me, when you are in the process of learning how to become selfless in a balanced way, there are some scales that have to fall off because we do find, even though in our quest to be selfish and me, 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 there is a certain purity and a certain joy we get in being there for others. And and it's that balancing act of not being a doormat, (laughs) you dig, but still being you, still doing what God is telling you to do and still finding a way to do that um, peacefully. And not begrudgingly when God calls you or or, or pricks you and say, hey, look, I need you to work on this because I want more from you. And then we go on to staying focused. I mean, that's self-explanatory, but we're talking about staying focused in connection to being selfless. So that's going to be interesting too. And y'all, we round out the week with new agenda. Once we have gotten through the, the hoops of being selfish and just really not understanding and hearing God for ourselves on these things, that's when we um, we discover that on the other side of that, God has a new agenda for us. He has a new agenda for us. He has things for us that we may not even be thinking about. He has an entire plan for our lives that we just may not even realize is just 
literally perfect for us, but because we fight that agenda, because we still struggle with self so much, it's so hard um, to get there sometimes. So y'all, those are the top topics we're going to cover. But today, y'all, just give me one or two more minutes. I want to run into y'all right now about deflecting. So y'all, by definition, deflecting means to cause something to change direction by interposing something, turn aside from a straight course, right? It says change direction after hitting something or cause someone to deviate from an intended purpose. Let's focus on that. So y'all, what we don't realize sometimes, and this, and again, I'm speaking from my personal experience, y'all. Um, I just hope that you can grab some nuggets from it. But here's the thing I learned. I definitely have deflected when it when it's come to certain things in my life. And I have deviated from the intended purpose that God has for me. Okay? I've deflected. Um, there have been... There was something in particular God had been showing me for years, probably well over a decade. I would engage and do other things that were contrary to what God kept showing me. And maybe one day I might go in depth about this, but it was nothing bad. It was something that I could share, but it's actually still unfolding. So I don't want to give too much away. But essentially, God just kept trying to show me something when I would pray. He would keep showing me a particular thing and I just, I didn't want it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want it, you know? And I didn't realize that this was going to be paramount in me really getting the thing that I had been praying for and asking for, but it just wasn't the way I thought it would be. So I kept deflecting from the intended purpose that God had for me. Well, really, excuse me, deviating from the intended purpose that God had for me, which is the definition of deflecting. So I just want to leave you guys with this. Okay. This is pep talk prayer. So what we do is these are quick little pep talks on faith. These are quick little things that make you think. And these are, these are things that make you say, you know what? I can literally change my life and I can start now. So this is what I want you to think about. What are you deflecting? What is it that you're encountering right now in your life that's causing you to deviate from the intended purpose that God has for you. What is that for you right now? Really think about it. Really think about it. Is there something that God has promised you and because it doesn't look like what you thought, have you begun to deflect? Have you begun to rearrange and change some things up and take matters into your own hands because it's not what you thought? I want you to really think about that. And moreover, think about your posture with yourself. Are you being selfless right now in this season when it comes to the things of God? And y'all, I'm going to reiterate this every day that we talk about selfishness and selflessness. I'm going to talk about this every time. I'm going to mention every day in some way, shape, or form. This is not about being a doormat, but it is about understanding that you can be selfish and the things that you need to so that you can be focused and healthy, but you must be selfless when it comes to executing the things that God has called you to do. Why? Because he says we need other people. We are called to help to navigate through these seasons in life and be blessings to other people. And it's an, it is impossible to do that being selfish. It's impossible to do that. So I want you to um, just think about that. And y'all, like I said, we will be back tomorrow and tomorrow we will be talking about wrong spirit or not. Nah. Like, is it the wrong, what you dealing with? Like, is your mind right? Is your spirit right or no? You want something else. We have to talk about that kind of stuff, y'all, because if not, we'll just keep moseying along, not realizing that we're getting further and further away from what it is that God wants us to do. So y'all, we're going to ride out on this. And this is really cool because selfish is actually one of the tweetables. I have 10 tweetables in the book. So you can actually look at this, Literally type it right out or copy and paste it if you get the digital version. And you'll definitely listen to it on the audio book, if you will. But these are tweetables. They're 150 characters or less. And we we hitting it. We, we, we hitting a bullseye with it. So, y'all, as we ride out, we're going to say this prayer. And it says, Lord, forgive me for wanting the praise and deflecting it from you. Forgive me for operating in the wrong spirit in my approach to things that you've given me. Remove the scales from my eyes that have kept me focused on my own agenda. 
and not yours. Amen. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at I'mWiredToInspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word for your girl. Hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and more of my inspirational products and services, log on to I'mWiredToInspire.com and remember to live your authentic purpose. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see you next time.